Hey everyone, we are back with what's sold on eBay. Uh, this is Wednesday now? Is it? Yes, it's Wednesday. This is our second day, th whatever, third day of the um, suspension from eBay. We still sold some stuff. A couple things were watchers that I <coughs> sent offers out to watchers and they buy and bought and then, I don't they know. They buy it. They buy it. it. Um, anyways, I don't know how this other item came through. And then I had a bunch of items now in my queue that so that I can send offers out to watchers. So... I'm guessing some of my listings have started to come back into view or somehow people found them because now I can send offers out. So, how did we do today? So we had four sales for almost 250 So, pretty good day considering we've been suspended. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, tomorrow is technically the third day if you go by calendar days. I don't know if they're doing about the time of notice or not. So, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll be back with a bunch of sales to show you tomorrow. First up... This gigantic Octonauts. Um, this is the submarine, the GUP A sub submarine, I believe. Um, the GUP A. <laughs> I uh, get it. Okay. The Guppy. <laughs> and it doesn't have any accessories, no characters, no nothing to go in it. Um, the stickers are on there, but you can tell that they're a little bit faded. Yeah, definitely um, been used for sure. Yeah. It does have the little door, which I'm assuming you probably could part this piece out. I bet you this piece is missing a lot of it. Oh, I bet. I um, the propeller too. And we did sell it for forty dollars shipped. Forty bucks. I think that was three ninety nine or something at the store. So nothing but really. It is big. Yeah, but I think we'll do okay on it. It's happy to see it go. Plus, it takes a lot of space. Then Christmas Still selling is not Christmas. over. This yeah. is a vintage Christmas tree skirt. It's, it's got like little elves. Yeah, I guess little it. elves, and they're like it looks like they're dancing around the Christmas tree base. Yeah. I guess. And like a little candle. It looks kind of like the looks, burlap. It's a, yeah, it's like a burlap, yeah, for sure. Burlap like a, sack kind of thing. But it's a vintage one and it's got it for two bucks. Sold for thirty-five dollars shipped. Thirty it's signed in there. I think it is signed. It has a name yeah, right there. Oh. I have no idea what it signed, but there's a signature on there. I wonder if somebody made it. I have no idea. But that was two bucks thirty-five. I usually pick up tree skirts. They're just hard to find sometimes. But if I can find unique ones, people will buy them. Well, especially now because trees are switching to everyone's doing the um, tree collars. So it's either a metal collar or people are doing um, a box that looks like a wrapped present or something else instead. So, I mean, that's what's new as far that's as under the tree kind of thing. On the tree, Christmas tree front. Yeah. So just so you guys know, if you Christmas tree know news update with Linda. for this next year, make sure you get yourself a tree collar or under the tree box to cover your tree holder. Good to know. No skirts. They're out. Anyways, uh, that <laughs> did sell. So the tree skirts do sell, guys, if you can find the them. The vintage ones. Don't go picking up those ten dollar ones from Walmart. No. Okay, nah. Nope. Next up, we got a Cuisinart food processor base. This is an older Cuisinart base. It's not the normal yeah. ones we sell. It's a little bit more compact, and it took a little longer to sell, and it sold for a little less. Uh, yeah, it sold for thirty eight and some change. I think I spent ten on the whole unit. We parted a bunch of pieces out, so this is the last piece left. Usually, the bases go at the end. They're heavy, but the good news is they're kind of compact for their weight. So usually, FedEx or UPS isn't too bad to ship them. Yeah. Because even though it's heavy, it's in a relatively small box. Next up is a weird pair. Um, they're not a weird pair in the fact that they're a cool looking shoe and they sold for $135 shipped. These are a pair of Air Jordan Retro 2s. These are nightshade. They are they size are cool 10. Color. Yeah, they're cool. The only thing we noticed is that they have the authentication guarantee. We've on never them. done it before. We don't sell a lot of high end shoes, just to be honest with you. I mean, I've, I've sold a pair for 200 and something, but that was way before the authentication. Yeah, that was way before that. And most of the shoes we get are. More like these. But these are super cute. Look at Little them. kids' sparkles. vans with sparkles in to clean them. So we're selling $30, 40 50 $60 shoes. Even Nikes, the Jordans that might be. But not really high-end ones or super collectible ones. So I don't know if it automatically makes you do that. I thought there was a certain dollar amount. I don't think this... Well, it's $100. I thought it was $200 for oh. shoes. I don't know. And maybe you just click it as part of the program. So I've never done it but before. But it's weird because we were looking at the, <clears throat> the thing and it says... Buyer paid, shipped, ready to ship to Authenticator. So, I mean, so we're gonna we just do it. have we're... to send it there first. And yeah, then they guess... send it to the buyer if they check out. But Usually what I do is I just kind of try to match some photos online. Do my best to match the codes. Look at the tags. Look at the, um, you know, everything about the soles. Make sure things seem to match up with other ones that are on there from reputable sellers. It's hard, though, because, I mean, Nikes are so well faked. I mean, I should say they're so fake so often that most of a lot of the ones you find are fakes. There are some fakes that are just total trash. These look like a good pair of shoes, though. Yeah. 
I mean, looking at them, they're and very they, clean. The lines yeah. are clean. I they got them from one of my sources. Either. No, everything seems to check out. But again, they could still be just a good pair of fakes. So I've never done it before. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, if they are fake, then the buyer shouldn't have paid that much. They, I mean, they, the sale shouldn't go through anyways because they shouldn't spend that much for a fake pair of shoes. Yeah. And you shouldn't be selling fakes. But um, I know there's a place called Check Check, I think, where you can send some photos in of your shoes and they'll tell you if they're authentic. So that might be good to have too in the future. I think you have to pay, but um, you send them I think photos it's per shoe. Yeah, or do you pay like per, per like five you do a month or something yeah. like that? So I think we saw one of the other YouTubers do it. So we might have to try that too, just we to won't see. Won't mention any names. Yeah, but uh, anyways, <laughs> it's getting some fly clearly. But <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so we might try that too. But we've never done the authentication. I know my sister did one uh, authenticator. She's making her own YouTube channel, by the way, so we'll shout her out when she does. But We're excited. Um, she did a shoot. She sold like a 200 pair of foam pauses or something like that, and she did the authenticator, and hers passed, and everything was good, so it wasn't an issue. Um, obviously, like I said, the only downside is I think if they are fake, I don't know if they come back to you or if you just lose all the money, for the, probably for the shipping, and they refund the rest of the money. So um, I did pay up for these. I paid 50 bucks for these. I bought a bunch of shoes from this guy, and it, I was getting great on everything else, and he told me these were legit, and we saw their comps, and they were up there, so I took his word for it, but now I'm a little bit like, I'm hoping they all check out, otherwise I wasted 50 yeah. bucks. It's but, just because it's it's something new, and we don't, you know, we don't know. We never know. It's not something we've ever done, so. Well, like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not like a shoe guru or whatever, you know, so I need to do, learn more, because I do come across shoes sometimes, and sometimes people are selling them for quite a bit of money, but I just don't want to take the time to... Or have the ability to authenticate them, but they're a lot of money in shoes, Jordans, especially collectible ones. And this well, one, we actually went to one of our um, outlet malls, and they have a uh, kind of it looks like a um, a shoe reseller in there. Yeah, he's got used shoes in there, but used, like they're quite, all you can tell they're used, but they're he's got like like maybe two or three pairs of the same kind, but he's selling them for. Three hundred, four hundred dollars, depending yeah. on which one they are. And, and I, was I think like, he buys shoes too. Like you dude, bring them to him, and yeah. he'll, he'll buy your shoes. And I think that's probably he's probably selling online too, but he uses yeah. it as a way for people to come in. It was a crazy store, shoes. though. We walked in, and I was like, "Holy moly!" Like this is a very expensive store. <laughs> so if you can tell by the photos, we'll have already sold these by now. We'll probably know. But if you do know, put in the photos what you saw that made you think these were either real or not real. So pause the video if you're like an expert. Um, I know there's, like I said, there's groups out there. There's that Check Check, I think, is the app. So I might try that anyways, just before, just to see. If they say they're no good, then maybe I can message the buyer and cancel the yeah, sale. Yeah, because I think they get back to you within a couple hours. Or even if by tomorrow, we could get them yeah. still shipped out. So I think that would be cool just to double check it. Plus, we can try that app. So that's all we got, guys. Even if the shoes don't go through, I'm still happy we sold what we did. I was telling Linda this morning, I'm like, hey, we still sold 75 bucks. That was before the Cuisinart sold. And she's like, eBay's trying to keep us down, but nope. Ain't gonna do it. So, no. But obviously, that's why it was nice that I sent out the offers to watchers. Happy about that. And hopefully, tomorrow we'll be back with more sales and things will open back up. I haven't listed anything in days either. We haven't been feeling too well, but I really got to get back into it. And but list... you've been doing on list perfectly. Yeah, I've been doing the crossbows. We haven't sold anything, but we've got a bunch of like likers and different stuff. But it's but different. It's just like with eBay. Just could, when you're a new seller. And you only have like 30 items yeah, or 40 like, items up. There's not much nah, for them to bro. choose from. There's a lot of competition. I mean, not everyone's lucky like me because like I sold. Well, when you did but... Poshmark, it was like it just came out. So there wasn't yeah. the competition. Now it's like a huge it's platform. It's ridiculous. But um, we're going to try it for six months. I told Linda six months of cross-posting onto these platforms. If we make a good, honest effort and we're not seeing a difference, then we're not going to we're not gonna stay with it. It's not worth our time. Yeah. Um, I, I do. I would like to push Amazon a little bit more. We, she used to do it a lot more. And with books and stuff, we've had a lot of success. So I'd like to do that because we know it works. And it's just good to have a little extra avenue uh, to make some money. But we'll see about And we haven't done Facebook Marketplace. And we're going to put some stuff on. Linda's going to make us a little Facebook Marketplace account. So we can sell on there too, hopefully, and do some shipping. Because I know people sell shoes and different stuff on there that we sell. So Linda's mad at me because I keep turning the little You're thing gonna break the motor. on the Cuisinart. Anyways, that's all we got, guys. We appreciate your time. Sorry for uh, jaw jacking too much. But we'll be back tomorrow with what sells on Thursday. Thank you, guys. Hey, everyone. We are back with what sold on eBay. Uh, today is what day? Thursday. Thursday. So you guys saw yesterday was our last day of suspension on ebay we still had some sales though which was awesome i think things had started to open up as the day winded down uh today wound down wound down winded wound it's all the same nope some of us just speak differently anyways um i'm a math major so give me some relief uh with regard to uh just how the process has gone with the suspension 
Today, all my listings were back online. I could find them in the morning. We already started having sales. You'll see that here today. I could not list anything on eBay till about three o'clock. Throughout the day, I was going on my phone with my drafts and trying to list them, and it kept giving me the notice that restriction. So, yeah, the two of them. What drafts? I have twenty. I had twenty drafts ready. I was ready. I was just like a dog, just ready to go. Biting at the bit. Yeah, and the minute they came, I put them all online. None of none have sold, but no one did. One did already sell. I showed you that one. It's, it's the big sale. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Babe, how do we do today with sales? Of course, this is Linda, my beautiful wife, Cameron. Her other half. How do we do? Well, today we had 13 sales on eBay for a total of 970 and one sale on Poshmark for a total of 90. So we cracked a thousand for the day. This was kind of what we Between were Between two platforms, yeah, by the way. This is a big deal for us. Our first time selling. Calling some somebody out who said it wasn't gonna happen. Who, me? somebody's best friend oh he, one of our one of my friends wasn't sure how it's and he's still not sure and i'm not sure either how it's gonna work long term with poshmark because it's just a different platform but we sold one today it was only up for two days and already sold on there so let's get into it we'll do that item first so poshmark, first up for poshmark is this pair of nikes um i don't know much about them because i don't have the poshmark pulled up on here so i'm not they're sure they're size 11 i think i forgot what they're i don't know if this is the right i think they're retro it, they're Retro Jordan 13. 13 retro I don't know 13. if this is the right box. I think it came with them, but I didn't include I the box. Look at the picture. Oh, maybe look at the tag. Black and metallic silver. Yeah, that's right. Well, this is the metallic. Well, this one says retro black and green. And that's the. Yeah, but the, the number is correct. Oh, okay, yeah. So this probably is. So they're probably retro 13s. Um, it's like black and like a what is it, like a sea foam green. I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, it looks what like it is. a sea foam green. Um, but these are pretty pretty unique looking shoes. We got them for twenty bucks. Listed them for a hundred bucks plus the buyer paying shipping on Posh. The buyer offered ninety or whatever it was. Ninety dollars. Ninety bucks, yeah. In the morning, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna accept that. I had them listed at one twenty five on eBay. I would have taken a hundred dollar free shipping offer anyways, and so yeah, ninety bucks. I was more just happy to see a sale go out. Uh, the shipping's real easy there. Linda said she used to sell on Posh, so that was cool. Yep. And we'll see if this leads to some other sales, but it helped get us over a thousand. Also, on the Jordans we showed you in the last video, we did use the Check Check app. Paid the $3 for my tokens or whatever <laughs> to, to check it in 30 minutes. They took six hours, so they gave me my tokens back. <laughs> but they did say that the, the, the shoes passed. The only thing was the laces were not original, which I knew. The laces that go with it were like a speckly one. They're really cool looking laces, but these ones were not those. And they said that they are legit just aftermarket laces were put on there. So we got the approval. Obviously, it still has to go through eBay's shoe authenticator. But a little reassuring that we have that check check verification super easy process would recommend it if you're selling the shoes and probably put a screenshot of the check check pass in the listing it might help give some buyers some confidence so a lot of 75 so plus screen. um xbox 360 games um there are some loose ones there are some that are damaged damaged there are some yucky ones there's some good ones maybe and somebody's gonna enjoy all of them probably not they're probably gonna resell them but we sold them for a hundred dollars shipped. These are the ones we get in bulk, guys. When we buy systems and stuff, they're not really sellable ones. We have the disc cleaner. We'll, we'll clean the ones that are worth selling. We blot them together. I sent an offer out for one hundred. I thought this was the original Xbox though, because I was trying to get one twenty for this set. So I took a little bit lower offer. But they've been up for a while. Happy to see them go. It clears out a whole bucket of stuff. We're not really trying to make a bunch of profit on these. I'm trying to break even or somewhere around a dollar a piece. Because sometimes in lots, I'll pay a dollar a piece to get the good ones. This means I made my money back. And some of these I'll probably have gotten for free. So yeah. it's okay, but it's just ready to get them out of the inventory. It, yeah, because, I mean, it, we fill up a milk crate full of it. So, I mean, it's a lot. It's a big thing to And store. shipping's going to be, like, you know, probably 30 bucks on that, 25 bucks, depending on where it's going. Yeah. Um. So we're really going to walk away with, you Oof, know. Mississippi. Probably like 60 bucks when it's all said and done, maybe a little bit 50 something bucks. And we had 75, so we're making a little less than a dollar a piece. That's why I wanted a little bit more. But again, it's more just to make some money off some dead stale stuff that I'm never gonna list, clears out the space, and then we start over. And then it usually takes a couple years and we'll have enough to do another big lot and we'll lot them up. So yeah. next item. Next item is this 1935 Old Mr. Boston Official Bartender's Guide. Um, it's a hardback book and it's got 75 pages in it. Um, and it's, it's cool actually it's really yeah it's really cool i'm not sure i didn't look at it it's, it's how to make 
different drinks, I believe. Yeah, different. It has all kinds, like a Highland Cooler, or Homestead Cocktail, so very cool. This, yeah. is, this is like the first edition second printing, I think, or something like that. It's not the official, official original, but it's still sold for. $50. And I paid 10 bucks from one of my sources. Uh, he knew what it was. He wanted to charge me, I think, 25 This I is the best he buy. Yeah, I thought it was going to be probably 30 to 40 bucks, maybe 50 and I said, I'll do 10 just because I wasn't sure, and I did not think someone was going to offer full price. It does have some wear, but probably it's goes to pretty, a collector. It's a cool item but Maybe if you have, like, a little, have, yeah. like, a little personal bar or something, you might, like, have this up there, or, cool. like, kind of a little display piece. Then next up is a Bissell Bark Jeez. Bath. This is a Very portable big. dog bath yeah. and grooming system. So it is new, but it is an open box. It smell, it's that new plastic smell, like when you Yeah, it, it doesn't smell like a dirty dog. It's all clean up, and I'm like, the guy goes, oh, my wife used it, it's 10 bucks. And I'm like, okay, I was going to part it out because I saw that people were selling the parts. So I'm like, 10 bucks, sure. Jumped on it, and I got it home and opened up. I'm like, this thing is freaking brand new. It's brand new. She Everything. probably told her husband she used it. Or she, she had two of them, you know, it. and that she had to use one. This is the one. But 10 bucks. We sold it for 140 shipped. Uh, it's a big box again, probably 25 to 40 dollars shipping. Um, but Oof, Georgia, there's a lot of stuff going. But again, <laughs> when you're only in it for 10 bucks, this is what we talked about with big items. When we're only in them for so cheap, we can afford to spend the 30 or 40. We're still going to make the money. So if we're going to get big, it better be a high seller, and it better we better have low investment. So if we do get hit in the shipping, and for those of you who are going to say, well, you should have just charged shipping. If I would have charged shipping, it was going to sell for 100 plus shipping. So either way, I would have been in the same boat in this case. Unless I would have sold it to someone, you know, maybe look closer to me, they would have ended up paying a little less on their end for shipping. Yeah. But it really wouldn't have made a difference. If you really think free shipping changes the game that much, I don't think it's accurate. I think if, I, if I'm selling an item for 15 free shipping, you're probably selling it for 10 plus $5 shipping. I feel like... We're getting to the same number a lot of times, just a different way. I don't have a problem with you charging shipping. There are benefits to that for sure. You don't get hit with the return stuff as bad, but it doesn't mean that I would have made a bunch more money had I sold it for $100 plus shipping. I would have probably still ended up in the same boat that I'm in or very close to it. So that's my hill and I'm going to stand on it. Anyways, next item. <laughs> I'm going to fight everybody who tries to come take no, them off the just, hill. People get on me like, you're ruining the reselling game because you offer free shipping and you're just ruining the whole world. I'm like... No, that would be Walmart and Target and Amazon. All those yeah, ones. Yeah, because I get free shipping all day. Because they do them. free shipping <laughs> if you spend over two dollars, like free shipping. And it's like <laughs> you—they're making more of an influence than my little small eBay store is. I'm not changing the game. Uh, the game's already been changed to free shipping. People almost expect it now. Granted, buyers are smart enough to know the price. We just had a live sale too, so that happened. But my point <laughs> and my happened. watch told me. Um, you know, guys, don't get mad at each other. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. You know, it, it's okay either way. We don't have to hate each other. Next item. Or we could bring it. Linda, Linda likes to be a little polarizing at times, if you don't know. I'm more Switzerland. She's more like, you know, just, uh, I don't even know. Probably don't know what the best country to be, but she's definitely like, you're either with me or you're the enemy. That's how she is. <laughs> I'm my own country. Yeah. And Take most people, even if you're with me, you're still the enemy. <laughs> Try living with her. Next up, we've got a Canon Type Star 5 uh, typewriter type re type re battery <laughs> cooler. <laughs> this is a typewriter I had. Got it for 10 bucks. Didn't work. I uh, thought it would. Sat over there on our, our workbench for a long time, and I was like, I'm going to try to fix it or whatever. I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not. And I just decided I'm going to part it out because that's what I do. And I sold this little battery cover. For 10 bucks. And it only sold in about three weeks, which is pretty good for a random part. I parted out a couple other pieces. We'll just break even. But you know me. I'm just a nerd at reselling. And I like to uh, just not let stuff go to waste. I think somebody has a cup that says, when in doubt, part it out. Well, that Commonwealth picture, that's his like, logo. Like a it's awesome. So I'm he, like, that's awesome. And, <laughs> I'm going to get one of those cups. And hit, <laughs> I agree with him 100%. Like, if you do have a doubt about it, about selling, and if it works right, check parting it out. And sometimes, even if it works, check parting it out. You can make more money. We make more money on Cuisinart's parting them out than we do selling them as completely. Especially with how big they are most of the time yeah. and shipping them and everything. Be ridiculous. Yeah. We sold another pair of shoes. But These on are eBay. Nike Air Force Ones, white and black. These ones do have the bag. They're or no, a box. Size, they're size 10 and a half. Um, these are a bestie buy. They got delivered, hand delivered right to the front door. I think they were 15 bucks. And we sold them for $75. And the buyers, like their second feedback, they're like, I'm so excited to get these. When are you going to ship them? And I said, we're going to pack them up. Probably tomorrow they'll be at the post office, but you know, the weekend's coming up. So that he goes, I don't care. 
I'm just here. She, I'm so excited for them. Indiana. So um, it was pretty cool message. So hopefully they'll be happy to tell them if there are any issues to let us know. But awesome, awesome, awesome. Next time we have a lot of like bigger sales, which makes today really cool, especially coming back live. Yeah, this is a villa. We'll be able to see what we're looking in front of us. Ooh, that doesn't look good. That's our garage door over there. The oh, ring light. There's the ring light. This messy. is a Villaware. This is a Villaware Prima Pizel Baker Maker. Um, it makes waffles, cookies, and cones all I in think one. It's brand new. It looks least, brand new. The, I mean, the irons on it look like. like I've good. seen. Yeah, these look. Usually there's at least someone left some residue in there almost every time. This is probably something that somebody got and they're like, I'm going to use it every day. Or of someone my got life. it at a wedding. It didn't happen. At a wedding, like, you're oh, going to love yeah. this. And you're like, no, that's not what I put on my registry, though. Why did you yeah, do that? Yeah, why did you just stray from the registry? <laughs> you know? Anyways, uh, that one was 15 bucks as well at an estate sale. I and knew what it was. Villaware is a very good brand. It has the tag on it. So. Yeah, I think it's new, but I didn't. I think I listed it as used. Maybe, so I wasn't but sure. it's got the tag on it. The tag kind of <laughs> is not in good shape. Well, that's probably something that was sitting in somebody's yeah, cupboard. Yeah, some grease on there from other things. But it did sell for $89 and some change. It's a little shape. bit of a weird pack because it's just the shape, but we're only... That handle through. throws me off yeah. big time. So little will be fine with it. She'll figure it out. Yeah. Next, our last one of these that we had. This is a VCA 115 cassette adapter. It has so, a little bit of like a little ding here. Someone like jammed their pencil in there when they were mad at their home video, but... Um, it does work. I don't know why they did that, but it works perfectly. It just doesn't, it also doesn't have the battery cover. But um, this came with all those other ones we got with the camera. We spent 25 bucks, two cameras. We got three different ones of these. This is a generic model. This one sold for? This one sold for $22 shipped. And the other one sold for, I think, 30 and 35 maybe? And those were all used, so we made probably just as much money on little tape adapters than we did on cameras. And then for Xbox, we've got Odd World Stranger's Wrath, the complete game, case, and manual. And this one sold for $13 and some change. And this came out of the Xbox by 50 bucks for a whole stack of games. We sold that one for 30 yesterday or 29 or whatever day it was, and we added some more with this one. Then we've got an Apple Magic Mouse box only. We never this saw is... the Magic Mouse box. No. This is a new for us. This is a new one. This is a Bestie Buy as well, um, and this one sold for $15. 2019, shipped. so pretty good. Then we've got a vintage um, socket drive extension, mm -hmm. two by inch SK. by SK. Um, this is very small a bestie buy item. out of all the tools we got. Yeah, it is a very small item, and it sold for twelve dollars shipped. Twelve bucks for this little tool. We've told you we had a video about our newest niche. It's tools. I even got Linda vested into it, so she's happy shipping the tools out. So I think because it's just easy. They are easy. So, so far we've had really good success. I encourage you, estate sales, looking for vintage tools, Craftsman, Mac tools, SK stuff. It's worth it. Then these guys... I love these too. These were sold really well yeah. for us. So in the beginning we sold the drugstore. Drugstore. Or the, yeah, the drugstore. The drugstore. And then the people. And the people. And then there was some... Um, Something else. Oh no, that was the little people that was in yeah. that box. We so these are the um they're made out of like plaster or something and you paint them and you put them with your little oh, village. Oh, it's got the lawyer there too. It's got the police station and the lawyer. I didn't know that. I oh, thought it was okay. just the police station. Um so it is the police station ready to be painted and it sold for $50 shipped. Uh we bought 10 three of those for 10 bucks. We sold the one for I think 40, one for 50 and one for 35, guys. If you find them brand new sealed, people buy them especially around Christmas time because you're kind of designing your own village at this point. So a lot of people And use... they have like the bottoms open so like you can put candles in them stuff to oh, light them up yourself. Yeah, exactly. So, so which it's pretty, is pretty cool. cool. Yeah, so that one was cool. That one was brand new sealed. Keep an eye out. It's by Creative Crafts or Creative Creations. California Creations Creative Crafts. I got some of the words right, just different order. <laughs> <laughs> then this is pretty cool. This um, is a USPS uh, male a belt cool buckle. On there. It's got the vintage Eagle logo on it. Um, it is on the Rolling Stones buy. It's got some damage, so I took a lower offer on this one. Yeah, so I do think it looks awesome though. Like if you were like an postal carrier, like retired, like you should wear this. And guess what? When you walk out in the public. person who bought it is a retired postal carrier. I didn't even know that for thirty-two years. Probably, I did not even check that message. This <laughs> sold at her family's house, and I was like, like I hope it went to like a postal person. They he can did. just wear this around. He's excited to get it, and he uh, is very thankful that he was able to find something like this. He let us know. And he bought it for twenty dollars. Had it listed at forty, but again, twenty dollar offer. I'm glad. I'm even more glad of the person that I accepted the offer because this is cool. Um, I'm glad it's gonna. I hope they enjoy it. Hopefully, they saw the damage. It's not too bad. I mean, the graphic or the logo looks good. It's just that little corner. So, yeah. Again, we got like ten belt buckles. I don't know what belt buckles sell. I just take a chance on them sometimes. 
and then our big sale of the night. This is a Sony PS3 with the 60 gigabyte um, backwards compatible model. So you can play the other games on it as well. The newer PS3s don't play the backwards compatible. I mean, they don't play the other model PlayStation. So they're... all your games, if you don't have the system, can't play. This system's worth a lot of money. The other ones are actually better systems in a lot of ways. These ones fry out really easily, but then this PS3 Slim's a way better system in my opinion. Um, but this one is the desirable one. Even broken, we sold one the other day for a hundred something bucks broken. Um, we knew it didn't work. This one, I tested the other day when I sold the Rock Band stuff. Finally got it listed now that our eBay turned back on and it sold for $310 shipped. Boom. 310 with a controller. Buy a brand new PS5 for that almost. <laughs> almost. I mean, come but, on. Yeah. <laughs> These are very valuable systems. Make sure you test them thoroughly. We have one more here left for me to test, and I hope it works. If it doesn't, it's still probably 100 and something, but um, they were from, from the death pile, and I had one of my friends that I was, he was helping me test stuff a while back. He had tested some of them, so that's why this one worked, but um, definitely a good system to look out for. Usually the way you can tell is obviously the model number, but look for the four USB ports on the lower front if you're facing the console left side. Um, look for four USB ports on the bottom. That's a good sign. It's probably the right one. So Linda's not good with her left and right. I don't mean to make fun of her, but it's not her specialty. Uh, everybody has things that they struggle with. Uh, colors for me, left and right for her. So anyways, we're not perfect humans. And then we need that, you know, on Jeopardy when it's the daily double, it goes, do -do, do -do, do -do, for the live sale. Uh, yeah, live sale. Okay, which just <laughs> happened while we were with you guys. And what did we sell? We sold uh, Bondi, the original Tamagotchi Gen 1. So I think it was um, our last one, maybe. Yeah, we had that four-pack sell that we, we bought sold, at Walgreens. And we sold one other individual and one. And we sold an individual one. And this one is cutesy. It's like, it's... um. Rainbow. Rainbow y and pastel y colors. And it sold for $25 and some change. And I got these shit. for five bucks plus tag at, tax at Walgreens. They actually have Tamagotchis there now. And if they go on sale, I probably would pick them up again for five bucks. Or if I was you, I would wait a year or two and then list them. And you can probably sell them for what they originally sold for. Make a few that bucks. and the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff that they put out at Walgreens too. Our Walgreens doesn't have a lot of it because I went there to check for some stuff for Linda and it was already gone. Because every year they do limited edition stuff. There's always something new to look for. So that is a little retail arbitrage little retail tip. tip. Even if you pay full price, guess what? <laughs> You can't get it in certain areas, so people will spend. People it like big Nightmare bucks. Before Christmas stuff. They just really collect hey, it. I really spend big bucks. Well, what did you get? Nightmare Before Christmas stuff for Christmas. Over oh, Christmas, um, your mom sent me the hat and socks and a new Funko Pop that I didn't have, and I got my Jack, my my limited edition Disney print Jack. That my sister got me last year. She framed it this year in a custom frame. So pretty. What did I get you? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing. That's not true. No. Cameron got me the limited edition K Jewelers. Listen up, husbands. Nightmare Before Christmas. Heart necklace. Real diamonds, mind you. But it's the hill out of the scene with Jack and Sally singing where it's the curled one and so it's half it's the curled hill in black and then the other half is silver heart and it's so pretty so yeah that was pretty expensive but not too expensive so that's what I got out for Christmas but if you want to resell that stuff Xbox, or that PlayStation paid for it yeah that's pretty much anyways Nightmare for Christmas stuff sometimes it's worth money if you can get it so keep an yeah. eye out especially if it's on sale yeah. that's it guys we talked way too long but we're excited because our eBay store is back. We sold something on Posh. Which is exciting. And I have a day off tomorrow. We're looking forward to it. We're going to go am. to Savers. Hopefully we go to Savers. So <laughs> love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.